I was. Two years, uh, four years ago, the World Baseball Classic came here and they got three days notice and they said, Roni, we need to fill up the stadium. You're the only guy who can do it. So we activated all of our contacts. We brought 25, they expected a thousand people. We brought 2,500 people out here. Again, kosher food was the, uh, was I think the clincher. And we brought uh, 2,500 people out here to root for the Team Israel. And we hope to do it again there uh, in September. You say the Team Israel, what is that? Um, World Baseball Classic is a world competition and Israel sends a team of, uh, of Jewish players and uh, they compete and hopefully they'll make it this year. They came one game shy of getting into the finals last year and it happened here. It was a very emotional game, but uh, it's Israel represented on the national, international baseball field. How many of those players are Olim from the U.S. who are playing on, on, under the Israeli flag? That's a good question. Well, they all play under the Israeli flag, whether they're Americans or not. Um, but uh, I would say there's probably a half a dozen who are Israeli citizens who, who uh, join the team. What's the JNF's involvement? Um, we decided to showcase Jewish National Fund this year and last year. So JNF sponsors the event, sponsors the, uh, there's a commemorative baseball that you can get downstairs. This has the Marlins, but downstairs is the one that has the Marlins logo on, a, on the other side and the JNF logo on the other side. Um, a day to really support the organization, to bring awareness to Jewish National Fund and all its work in Israel, and also to show them that they support the Miami Marlins as well. And in terms of hot dogs, which vendor you would be rooting for? Uh, the kosher vendor where there's pizza and Chinese food, egg rolls and the kosher falafel. pretzels. Falafel, yes. We understand the falafel is outselling the hot dog for the first time. What does that mean? That means that there's a lot of Jews in the stands here today. Well, I grew up in New Jersey, but we live in Ohio. Whereabouts? Uh, Columbus. Columbus. And what did you get? Oh, we got uh, falafel and pita with well, lots of, the camera? yeah, with lots of extra spicy sauce. So given a choice, is falafel a good vegetarian option for baseball stadiums to be offering? Yes, definitely. Falafel's amazing. Even if it, it takes a kosher mashkiach to be observing to make sure that it's all kosher, is falafel, a, do you think, a, a new future for a, a vegetarians at baseball games? Well, they seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah. They've got a line. Yeah. How about you? How, did you know that it happened to be Jewish Heritage Day today? Oh, I did not. No, no. <laughs> How exciting. Does, does the fact that they're serving kosher hot dogs impress you? Not here, not, not in Jupiter, Long Island, not in Jupiter, Florida, no. I would think not. Uh, how about the fact they're selling more falafel than, than hot dogs? That would surprise me. Okay. That would surprise me. But it doesn't impress you. They are selling more falafel than hot dogs? Well, they're selling, they're selling a lot of falafel. They are. I didn't even see it. That's interesting. Okay, that's good. With a good sesame sauce, uh, sesame dressing? Uh-huh. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. I'll go get one of those. Uh it's not Avenue M, but I'll go for it. <laughs> <laughs> what role did Mike play in bringing this event together? All I can do is ask. He's the guy who says yes. So we asked if we could have a Jewish Heritage Day. He agreed to host it. And uh, really, kudos to head to uh, Mike and to the Marlins at Roger Dean Stadium. What's special about Jewish Heritage Day from a uh, Roger Dean Stadium perspective? Well, first of all, Roni's too, uh, he's too modest. He was the one that really helped us get this going. But uh, for us, it's bringing the community together, you know, making sure that uh, we get the Jewish folks out and, and that we celebrate together and, and, and enjoy our national pastime together. Patrick Hogan this bought is an one, and, and he's not Jewish, and he chose of all things he could have ordered falafel. What's the future for falafel at a, at a, a baseball game? If uh, this rate continues, we're looking pretty good. Thank you very much. You're welcome.